the images that you can remember and the sounds that you can remember that day. Um, I think one of the things that stands out to me the most is um, hearing Ashley um, just crying for her dad, you know, just, um, just saying, Daddy, Daddy, you know, just hearing that over and over. You hear that for many years after that. On July 25, 2001, a crash occurred on State Road 89. Police determined that a black Jeep changed lanes into the path of Aaron Allred's red Honda, causing Mr. Allred to swerve hard left. At 55 miles per hour, he lost control, and his natural reaction was to overcorrect to the right. This sent him across traffic where a second overcorrection, this time to the left, threw the vehicle into a spin, during which Mr. Allred was thrown into the passenger seat. The car now sped into oncoming traffic where it collided violently with a truck, killing Mr. Allred instantly. Officials determined that if Mr. Allred had been wearing his seatbelt, he would have stayed in the driver's seat and could have controlled the car enough to avoid the final collision. As a responding officer on this crash scene, it became my duty to notify the family of the tragic results. This is always one of the hardest parts of our job, and in this case was no different. I was at home, I actually worked at home at the time, and it was in the summer, and Zach came around the corner, and he's like, Mom, you need to get off the phone and, and come in the living room and get Ashley. And as I walked into the living room, there was, um, the police officers were there. As soon as you see police officers, you know, you know. And all I remember hearing is he didn't survive or he didn't make it and I just collapsed to the ground, I remember. And then as soon as I composed myself, I went upstairs to my room and I got my, he had just been to Alaska and had gotten me a t-shirt. I put my Alaska t-shirt on and cried and cried. It's just shocking, like you just don't ever think um, you're gonna have to face that and um, intense loneliness immediately. And how do you move on? You know, how do you move on without him? And um, what do you do now? We did talk about seatbelts. He never wore his. But, I mean, we always wore them. He always made us wear them. And, I, you know, I knew he didn't wear a seatbelt. Me and the kids always did, and you try to get him to. And, and I think that when we were together as a family, he would wear it because the kids, you know, they always remind you put your seatbelt on, because that's what you teach them. But he just never wore a seatbelt. If Mr. Allred would have been wearing his seatbelt, I think the outcome of this crash would have been a lot different. My dad was always the happy, giggly type. He always gave the best bear hugs and just was supportive of anything me and my brother did. He was a great dad, and he did everything and um, really built that bond with Zach when he was a baby and he just always had a great relationship with the kids. Now of course Ashley was um, Aaron's you know pride and joy and um, and they had an amazing relationship. If my dad had survived my life would be tremendously different. Um, just having him around. My hardest thing was the first holiday and the first birthday and the first Christmas and every first that he wasn't there, that was when it really hit me. And I, I mean, especially on my wedding day, it was every girl's dream to have their dad walk him down the aisle. So, um, I mean, we had pictures there of him and I got a rose for him, but it's, it's not the same. I mean, I guess I just miss his presence, just to be around him. He missed me growing up. I mean, I was 12. You take for granted the little things, just the everyday little jokes and laughs and inside jokes between you that are the main thing that you miss. The moment you wake up in the morning, you relive. When, you're, when you wake up, to an empty pillow, you miss him every day. You miss that companionship. 
a lot of the crashes and fatalities that I've been to over the years, people could have walked away from that crash if they would have been wearing their seatbelt. It's a simple thing that takes two seconds and it can save everyone around you from heartache and grief. I think if he'd known how it would affect his family, it, would, it wouldn't have been a question, you know. But you don't think it's ever gonna happen to you. I wish I could say, I love you and I miss you. Um, I mean, that's, that's all there is.